this morning as I was meditating, I just realized something. The majority of people pleasing humans that I know are strong men. And it makes sense because when you're a strong man, everyone depends on you to do things. Unfortunately, when your entire life is centered around doing, you never can find peace in just being. You're always on the go. You're almost like a slave to everyone's schedule. You don't even ask you don't even ask what time do I need to be at this place? When should I do this? You just go. And as a result, you feel devalued and then emotionally anger arises. Deep anger. But as a strong man myself who does a lot for a lot of people, I'm realizing that the only way to stop it, man, is to literally stop it. Saying the two letter word is hard for strong men superhero mentality men to say and that two letter word is no if you're tired of <laughs> feeling like people only ask how you're doing because they know if you're not doing well it'll negatively impact their well-being you're in the wrong place trust me starts creating emotional distance from people you love, your physical and mental health becomes taxed. And eventually you may catch yourself mentally just questioning more than answering in regards to life. So as I'm working on my, my uh, next book, uh, should be really powerful. I definitely need to include this because strong men aren't slaves. We were gifted with that strength, not just to help when needed. I believe the Most High gave us that strength first and foremost to bring him glory. Second, to take care of ourselves. I tell guys all the time we try to, I see them in the gym, they, they want to get buff or develop uh, a, a muscular physique. I ask them, not how much do they lift, I ask them how much do they rest. The body grows when you're sleeping. That's why it's hard when you walk in the majority of gyms, just observe it for like maybe a year. Very rare do you see people physiques change. They spend five, six hours in the gym, the rest of the day working, and maybe four hours resting. This has to change. We're losing a lot of good men. So again, this is just my morning reflection. If you're a strong man out here, you're probably up now <laughs> to someone's call of need. Probably ain't gonna stop to get you no breakfast. You don't have time to sit and eat. Gotta go, gotta go. We keep that mentality. You're gonna say, gotta go, gotta go in regards to your grave. Let's stop this, man. It's, it's a miserable life to live. Just say no. It sounds so simple. Yet it's very hard. But at the end of the day, strong men do what's hard. Shalom.